Jay, thank you very much for agreeing to this. It's, uh, it's going to be useful to our members to gain a better understanding of what we are doing in terms of the two broad bills that you have supported. That would be uh, Representative Gregory's uh, 495 and uh, Senator Koenig's 140. But they do contain, along with a broad rewrite of the notary law, some very important language about electronic remote notarization. Can you explain that? Yeah, we, uh, we looked at the notary statute and it really hasn't been updated for 50 years. And we realized that uh, having to be right next to someone in their physical presence uh, was sometimes an impediment uh, to making business work. And we have this thing called the internet, we have cameras and we can project video. And we said, how can we make it easier for individuals to make business transactions, financial tra transactions happen? And we can do that using technology to allow people, if they want to use the old in-person notary, but also to use remote and electronic notary, just trying to get the government out of people's way. That's a, that's a great idea. Now, there are some people who are concerned that the factors for proving that somebody is somebody are not in the statute, and that's the only way I can describe it. What's your response to that? Well, we, we haven't really updated the notary laws for 50 years. If we put in our technology requirements and put them into statute and wait 50 years to come back to them. I think everyone watching this video can understand that technology has changed in the last 50 years and we need to make sure that we can have the necessary certifications and criteria to keep everything as secure as possible. In fact, if we do it correctly, it will be more secure than the old fashioned in-person notary. Yeah, well that makes a lot of sense because I think we've all seen the the fast expansion of technology and it's one of those things that I now have to go to my grandchildren and ask them to explain it to me. Yeah, and, and, and what is secure now will not be secure in 10 years because technology will have changed, computational power will have changed, and what is possible uh, now or what is impossible now will be possible in 10 years. So we, we don't want to put it into statute, we want to put it into rules so that we can change it as necessary and also so that we can have input of the people that will use it. That's very important. Once it's in statute, it's very difficult to change it. But if it's in rules, then we can have consortiums of people that are interested come and discuss with us the best way forward to make sure that it works for everyone involved. That, that makes just a mammoth amount of sense. I, <laughs> I, I'm just real confused now as why everyone is, or not everyone, but some folks are getting so angsty about the whole thing. I, know, guess it's, I guess it's change, and nobody likes change. I think that you've hit the nail right on the head. I think that people like what they're used to, uh, and some other states have done uh, putting things in statute, or, and, and we've tried to look at what other states have done in the last two or three years and said, okay, we don't want to make the mistakes that Nevada made. We see some problems with the way it was implemented in Texas. North Carolina has some good ideas, but some things that don't work well in Missouri. So we really like the idea of being able to use those people that were the very front end of it and say, mm, let's do things a little bit differently that we think will be better long term. And not only work for Missouri, but work for the states around us so there can kind of be a regional approach mm -hmm. to the notary process, which I think is also helpful to all the shareholders. Yeah, I, I, I'm familiar a little bit with the problems with, with paper. We sold some property a few years ago in, in Colorado, and I think FedEx made the most on the deal. Well, and, and it's not just what we're doing to remote electronic notarization. We're doing some changes uh, from, from the legal standpoint to make sure that if a word means one thing for in-person notarization, it's a similar or the exact same thing, so it's easier from a legal standpoint to understand terminology, to have more defined terms. And we're also trying to strengthen the ability if there is a problem, if there is an issue with the notarization or the notary of the document, we're, we're more stringently having requirements on the record of that notarial act so that if things do come up, even if it's the old-fashioned style of notarization, that we have good evidence to make a determination as to what did happen and what should happen to make things right. That's an excellent point because I know notaries leave, they pass away, uh, and the books are sometimes lost. 
They are, um, and not every notorial act is put down in the journal. And one of the things that we think is that we'd like to close those gaps and those loopholes so that when a document is notarized, there's a notation in that journal. So if there is a problem in the future, it's not just someone trying to remember, remind themselves from a vague memory 10 years ago, but they actually have in writing, this is what happened. I think that's a great idea. I'm, the more I look at it, the more convinced I become that that your approach is the is the correct one. It it makes a whole lot of sense to me, and I think to everyone else, hopefully. Well, that's that's what we're hoping for. That's why we reached out to I don't know 10, 20 different stakeholders from every different area: realtors, mortgage bankers, title companies, uh, car dealers, bar association, you name it, to get them to the table before we had written the language, mm -hmm. so that we wouldn't get too far down the road and make sure that everyone's needs and concerns were addressed, so that we could have something that maybe wouldn't be a hundred percent perfect for any one person but it would at least meet 98% for everyone so we could all move forward in concert. Yeah, I, I remember one of those meetings at least, I was sort of in the middle of the table there. It was good, yeah. and it's what we need to do more on legislation, getting people together before the words are down on paper and, and seeing what we can do together to make it work, and, and I would hope we'll continue to do that in other areas.